Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where at the very end of the last episode, like as I was hitting the button to cut it, this popped up. So we'll cover that now. The ring world section has been restored. That is one of four. Building on what remains of the ruined ring world in the Cybrix Alpha system, our engineers have managed to fully restore one of its sections. The new biosphere had to be created more or less from scratch by our leading planetologists, but it's now considered stable and ready for habitation. Now, these are substantially different from a standard planet. They can have these, these districts built in them. City segments, commercial segments, research segments, and agricultural segments. Now, I don't think we need agricultural segments. Research segments, I tend to prefer to build. Although we may need city segments a little bit later on. We'll have to see. But for now, that does of course mean that we can start work on another one of these as soon as we have the alloys. Now we've already queued up most of these going up to citadels, so that is the majority of our alloy expenditure, with the exception of this one. So that is good. Let's also grab... what's cheapest here? Building cost. We'll grab that, I guess. Okay, this construction ship is in our capital and ready to go. We should go ahead and start constructing a gateway, and we're going to... Oh, hello, the Transaru Multiplex is dead. Okay, well, that's fine by us. We're going to build this up over here. Excellent. Now, Voidpool is, of course, switching over to a Bastion. That'll take it some time. But that is... Is that our last one of these to queue up? I believe it is. I don't think we need any other gateways right now. We might later on. I do, however, want to colonize this. We'll colonize it with, I guess, these starfish-looking lo guys. That'll be fine. The major thing about these, uh, about these habitable sections is that there's not actually that much available for the districts, but each district is extremely powerful. So that is something to note. Clagians are at war. I'm in favor of this. Okay. So that is all fine. This station, of course, has been switched over to an anchorage, as has this one. We're 27 out of 24 starbase cap, but we're doing okay on that front. However, we are short of a few consumer goods here. Let's go ahead and bump this back to 230. I'm okay with with burning through what we have stored up for a little while. So I'm not going to completely cut that flow of energy credits off. Yeah, we're at plus five right now. That's good enough. So we're gonna need to save up our influence and our alloys. We have a lot of expenditure. Since when is this a, in a storm? A study has been okay. <laughs> That's exciting. Planetary build speed, that is mediocre at best. We'll go for minerals from jobs. Excellent. So Void Pool Station is going to be upgrading to a Citadel very shortly. And this guy here needs to upgrade to a Citadel. But at this point, that is the end of the majority of our alloy expenditures on the upgrading front in terms of star bases. Now we need to be putting those towards getting these ringed section or these ring sections back online. That'll cost us 20,000 alloys and we can only do one more at a time. I want to get that as soon as possible though. I would absolutely love to get that going right now. I'm not sure that we can quite actually we can pull it off. Construction has concluded in the Isville system. So that is a thing. Oh yeah, that's the, the actual conclusion of the construction, not the construction platform. Right, 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 right. So that is great, and apparently my pop shield has decided it, that uh, it must go. It's people needs it, need it, so let me get that wrangled back into its position. Wonderful. Okay. So we're currently not capped on our fleets. That's something we need to consider. We're almost to 150 influence. It's also something to consider. Terminal Egress now has its 
now has its gateway ready to go. Now, there are very specific locations that we can build these in. We may want to spread them out a little bit. Let's see, the Strategic Coordination Center... I forget what this actually does. Full comms and center. Yeah, I've uh, forgotten what those icons actually indicate. <laughs> so, there is that. That's just amenities. Okay. The Interstellar Assembly. Yeah, we want to build all of these, like one of each. But we want to be a little bit careful about where we build them. So, I think I'm going to move over to here. We can activate this relic, and we absolutely will. Just like that. Get ourselves some alloys. Because I would love to have enough to get this going as soon as this is done. I mean, we will have enough. But we're going to need to work on a few more of these. So we're going to need to save up our influence. How much influence did each of these cost? I think the most important one here is going to be the mega shipyard. That's going to cost us 300 influence. All of these are 300 influence. The Science Nexus would be great to have as well. Admin cap, fleet command. Edict duration it is. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and put these alloys for now into reinforcing this fleet. It's not going to be fully reinforced. But that is going to put it well underway. That'll get us probably close to our naval cap, which is something to consider. And let's check in on our colonies for right now. This mining world appears to require a gene clinic. Okay, we'll put in a gene clinic there. This generator world is back up to 28% crime. Let's upgrade to a hall of judgment then. We just have some specialist unemployment. That's going to be difficult to fix on that planet. Let's grab, I think, shield hit points for now. Excellent. And this bureaucratic center here, we mostly just need a job. It kind of doesn't matter what. These are commercial zones here. That's five clerk jobs. Noted. Let's just get some alloy mega forges going then. That'll do. We can always put in this is a science world. And we awkwardly have a mining district. Okay, we're going to put it in the city district for now. Oh, they council vetoed. That's nice. Over here, we have quite a lot of unemployment. And we knew that was going to be the case. These hydroponics farms are not very job efficient. But we need them. We could probably replace this Cyto Revitalization Center with something a little bit more jobs efficient. Like what? What indeed? Hang on. That's 80 crime? We should be building Psychors, not precinct houses. Okay, let's go back and change that quick. Uh, that was... Actually, we don't need Cyto Revitalization Centers here. That's for sure. Let's replace this with a civilian industry. There we go. And over here, we're fine. Over here, we're fine. This is a hollow temple. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Canopus Prime here. I'm actually interested in replacing this Cyto Revitalization Center with... This one would actually be a research lab that we'd replace this one with. Okay, Canopus Secundus here is... Well, this is the one we need to replace this with something that's more job efficient. It's an agro world right now. I mean, we could replace it with an additional hydroponics farm. I think these have an upgrade to them that gives more jobs. I guess we'll do it for now. They can always migrate out of there, I suppose. Zoltan Prime here. I want to replace this precinct house with a Psychor. And we'll leave the Cider Revitalization Center there for now. 
I want to check in on our other worlds here. Yeah, this one I want to replace with a Psychor as well. We want to do that first. That's a more efficient building for the same job. And this tech world here, it definitely does need a research lab. The civilian industry is likely to be removed eventually. Okay, sounds great. How are we doing on our gateway construction site over here? We haven't started it. We should do that. Excellent. Okay, so in terms of our mega structures, I want to put the sentry array up here. Now the sentry array, it will eventually cover the entire galaxy. And this is kind of the safest position that we've got in some ways. So I want to have that. That said, we might want to consider upgrading this to a bastion. Maybe. That would definitely hurt our starbase cap. But I wouldn't mind being able to defend it a little bit better. Let's do it. We're going to make our starbase cap even sadder, but our economy is actually fine for right now. We're doing pretty well on that front. In fact, we could bump our monthly trade of these, not that far up, but back up to, say, 275, actually. That'd be fine. Excellent. At this point, I'm mostly not working on upgrading our bastions for a very specific reason. That reason is because we're going to have to spend quite a lot more on upkeeping those upgrades, and because I'm more interested in spending the alloys right now on mega structure work. So that will be fine. Now, if I recall correctly, these can also super efficiently output, th these ring worlds can super efficiently output alloys. That's going to be something we're going to be interested in. But we're not, strictly speaking, ready for that right now. So we're going to be saving up our influence right now. I do want to have the... Let's see, there's a very specific place that these can be, these mega shipyards can be created, if I recall correctly. Void pool may, may work. I'm not entirely sure. If, if it doesn't work to put a mega shipyard in void pool, then we will probably try to put the strategic coordination center there. So that'll be fine. But we want to get these mega structures underway as soon as we can. So that will be great. I want to check in over here to see when these ring sections are going to be finished. 250 days. Okay, we're probably going to want to save up our alloys for that then. Each of these are also going to cost, what, 10,000 alloys? 5,000 alloys to start the construction site. Construction venture That's not too bad, really. We'll grab defense platform hull points, mostly because it's the cheapest. We don't really have defensive platforms right now, but we certainly will. Excellent. Let's check in on our worlds here. This refinery world needs a job, and that is, of course, why we put this research complex in. This generator world definitely needs an upgrade on the system capital complex. This tech world needs a housing. That's easy enough. Edict duration has finished up. We're still most interested in edict duration there. It's getting less efficient. System capital. That's nice. We'll put that in. We're at 0% crime here now that we've got these Psychor. That's very nice. Rising unemployment on Canopus Secundus. We're working on it. We'll institute increased benefits, though. So. Yeah, we've currently got... Five specialists unemployed here? That hurts. We should think about moving those to some place with far fewer populations, such as... One unemployment there. I'd like to move it to, say, somewhere like... One of these alloy worlds, ideally one with a good amount of unemployment. Hmm. This is an aggro world. 
Oh, this is the current planet. <laughs> yeah, that would be correct. You know, we could move them to Himpra. That would be fine. Boop, 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 boop. And we could also move these three workers over. There we go. Himpra Prime just got a big boost in terms of its people. So that's great. This is a science world here. So we definitely want to put in a pair of research labs to help with those jobs, which are over... Where are those? Here. Requires a planetary administration, of course. So we'll do that first. And we'll also put in a city district. And we'll come back to Himpra. Excellent. A study has been completed. Threadma has unemployment. It's dealt with. Canopus has unemployment. That's actually dealt with just by upgrading that capital, I'm pretty sure. Mufrid over here is a forge world. And it has a building slot available. And... Apparently that queued up without me clicking on it. That's exciting. <laughs> okay, this... What do we want here? Mm. Gravitational analysis, I guess. That'll do. We're definitely rocking along pretty quickly here. So I'm happy about that. We can afford to continue to upgrade our fleet. That said, we're not really in a position to do so alloys-wise. We'll reach into the shroud. The path we followed has come to an abrupt end. We can go no further. We'll try to grab ship speed. That's fine. And we succeeded. 40%. Very solid. Upgrade this guy to a star hold. And the biggest thing that we want is that shipyard. That is the ideal scenario. Let's see, that is the Mega Shipyard construction site. We're just missing 37 influence for that right now. So that sounds great. A new colony has been propagated. Ah, excellent. So that is our new colony on this habitable section. And it's instantly building a chamber of elevation. I'm actually going to change that to a gene clinic. Excellent. So yeah, you can see here, these research segments, super duper powerful. Another ring section has been restored, which means that we should immediately begin work on the final ring section. Wonderful. We should also colonize this one just as soon as we can. And we can colonize it with these starship, or with these starfish, that'll be fine. Colonize it with starships. I mean, technically that's what we're doing. <laughs> so yeah, I think... We want this one. Let's see, that's immigration pull resources from jobs. City segments produce trade value. Yeah, this is... Merchants, artisans, and clerks. So that would produce consumer goods. That may not be the worst for one of these. Just output a bunch of commercial segments. Yeah, we could do that. For now, we'll just leave that be. And Himpra, as soon as it is done with that uh, planetary administration, we can queue up its additional buildings. This forge world here needs housing. Easy enough. Okay, the rest of these look pretty good, although we currently have a job, a, a job deficit on Emery's Emerald. There we go. Problem solved for now. Okay, one more month tick, and there it is. Let's see what the restrictions are on where we can build the mega shipyard. Never mind, it counts as a mega structure, <laughs> which also restoring these ring worlds does. We have to wait 1,500 more days. In that case, we're not going to, th this influence is not going to go to waste, don't get me wrong. We're going to keep that influence around, and we are instead going to spend these alloys. Yeah, we're not going to activate the relic right now. We're instead going to spend these alloys on getting the fourth combat fleet up to scratch. Excellent. So things are going reasonably well. I was hoping that we would have more Starbase Cap by now. However, once we get Cybrix Alpha 
Let's see, that's from Owned Systems. I was hoping that Cybrex Alpha's colonization would bring that up by another one. It did not. Okay. Noted. We're still upgrading over here. That's fine. These guys are fully upgraded. Grimium is fully upgraded as well. Things are looking pretty good. With the slight problem that we want to do more mega structure building, and we can't. But it's only a matter of time. Okay, there's rising unemployment on him for Prime. We knew that. We created that problem. That is underway. Or rather, the fix for it is underway. Let's actually head up there. Yeah. Construction that finished. will get fixed, but it's not going to be for a little while yet. We'll get a pair of research labs in there. In fact, we should probably build the research labs before we build the city district. That will be absolutely fine. So we're mostly at this point just waiting on this ruined ring section to finish up. That's going to be quite a while, 1,200 more days. We could start thinking about getting belligerent. Everybody around us is in a federation, so it would be a relatively large-scale war to the point where I would prefer to wait until we had defense platforms up. It's going to take time, for sure. Let's certainly work on getting our bastions a little bit stronger because our bastions are only at 25k. That's not very strong compared to our combat fleets, which are at almost 100k. And we have to assume AI fleets are going to be... I mean, these guys are pathetic to us. But we have to assume AI fleets are going to be at least comparable if they declare war on us. If we declare war on them... That might be a totally different story. But I'm interested in seeing when these battleships finish up. Is that going to put us over our naval cap? Maybe. If so, do we care? Maybe not. A study has been this is going to put us up to 5 out of 7. So let's queue up the additional 2 battleships and the Titan. I don't think we care. Okay. Building costs, we can go ahead and grab energy weapon attack speed. That'll be fine. Man, I keep hoping that it's going to be starbase cap. No such luck. Okay, let's just grab admin cap for now as a reroll. It might be that it's giving us particular ones because we keep doing the same one over and over. Maybe. We don't need the admin cap, but it'll be useful once we start getting belligerent. So that'll be fine. Unfortunately, I think that that does mean that we're not going to start construction. Oh, hello. So these guys have detected widespread biological vulnerabilities in the Grim population. In order to ensure your species viability for the Custodian project, all major population centers will require inoculation. Bioinjection units are prepared for dispatchal to your space upon positive confirmation to this message. Awaiting response. Okay, so that is these guys over here. These guys. Their fleet power is equivalent to ours. Their tech is only superior. We don't trust these inoculations. I think we could take them if we had to. Especially considering that we're kind of holding ourselves back right now. I definitely think we'd be able to take them. If we were to open up full bore, absolutely. We're going to be upgraded to a star hold in Symmetra, Symmetra Station very soon. The emergence of a threat on the galactic level has not gone, un gone unnoticed even among the normally aloof Elder Empires. Despite having taken little interest in the galactic affairs previously, news of this new horror, what new horror, prompted a flurry ac of activity from the Nurian, that is, these guys. They are already awakened. At first, it was just a few scouting vessels, perhaps sent to verify the graveness of the situation, but then reports began, began to come in of Nurian war fleets mustering on their borders, readying their defenses for the oncoming storm. Now, the Nurian arbitrators have fully emerged from their self-imposed isolation to take a leading role in the defense of the whole galaxy. 
They proclaimed themselves the leaders of a galactic defense league, and extended an invite to all lesser species to put aside their feuds and join them in repelling this menace for the sake of all sapient life in the galaxy. Are they just making up this menace? I haven't seen a menace. I don't think there's a menace. Is there a menace? Did we miss that? We don't need them. <laughs> oh, their tech is now only superior to ours. Their fleet power is still overwhelming. To be fair. <laughs> but that's fine. Okay, we've completed this over here. I definitely want to get this starbase upgrading. There we go. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to start building some additional mega structures. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.